पवित्र मन रखो पवित्र तन रखो पवित्रता मनुष्यता की शान है जो मन वचन कर्म से पवित्र है वो चरित्रवान ही यहाँ महान है क्लीनेस इज नेक्स्ट टू गॉडलीनेस एज अ ब्राह्मण We have to constantly maintain cleanliness, especially when it comes to offering bhog to our beloved Pap Dada. Today, we will learn how to clean our bhog vessels and clean our bhog fruits, featuring our Avyakti White House. So this bog dish is being used and before I place on top I will put some water in it and I'll put it on top of it and uh, because I still have few things to do so I thought I decided that I will leave it like that for a while until I'm ready to wash them ready to wash my baba's bog dishes so my sink and everything is clean kitchen is clean so i want to wash now them but i won't use the same sponge which i generally use for all other dishes and i have a separate sponge for baba's dishes but this here is a silverware so i would like to use um, some toothpaste powder to make them shine so how do we do that let's see I put some uh, Colgate powder and now I will rub it. You see how everything, all black stuff came out. You see how it is? It's coming out very shiny, shiny. Let's see inside. You see how it's uh, all black, black is coming out. So this is how we shine our silverware for Papa's pork dishes. So now I'm washing my pork dishes, uh, Papa's pork dishes. Um, so wash it thoroughly, thoroughly, each and every corner. And I will again place them at a separate place. So I have kept here a separate place for Baba's Bog dishes. So I will place them one after another. Now let's see where we put our Bog dishes in our kitchen area. So what I have done, that we choose one drawer somewhere and we keep only dedicated for Baba's Bog dishes. So now I will place it uh, nicely in this drawer, uh, separate them. Here I keep the two sections, so inside part I keep it for silverware. Here I have steel containers for daily bhog. So I have few containers at the top and I have this little plastic container here where I will put my bhog, Baba's bhog cloths which I use every day. So there is one and there is a second one. One is for the bottom and one is for the tops. This is this is for the bottom and the, this one is for the top. So we took a plastic wrap and we placed it under it. We can see now that um, all dishes are wrapped in the plastic and they all are ready to put away. Uh, this uh, silverware uh, we pack like this because some of the silverware we only use uh, once in a while so that's how we put it away so that way it won't become black so now i will place this properly inside of the drawer i will cover it nicely on top of it and i'll keep it in a way that it can be untouched and then I keep this day to day one a little bit in the front so we can take out easily and then we can use it. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. There are a few rules to keep in mind when it comes to bog. First, fruits have to be freshly bought. Second, they have to be untouched. So, no eating until we offer it to Baba. And third, 
It has to be cleaned in an accurate method, which our Didi will show us now. So here there's the strawberries. So we take few strawberries in our strainer. Actually, we make sure that uh, it's washed with cold, cold water because if you do it with hot water, it will get bad. But make sure you take each one of them in your hand and wash it very, very thoroughly. And then we place them on the paper or um, towel to dry. So here you see that we have placed all the fruit after washing it properly, thoroughly washed and put it on the paper to dry. So this is how we, um, these are the bulk fruits. So before we offer to Baba, we clean them and we wash them. That's it. It's so simple, right? Now, it's our turn. Let's imbibe this method and impress our Bob Dada.